So you may know him from things like Euphoria, Saltburn, as Elvis in the film Priscilla, but you may not know that he has a pretty epic bag collection. Today we're going to be discussing Jacob Elordi's street style. But before we dive into all that, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Check out our membership, it's kind of cool, not gonna lie. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I am starting a new kind of monthly series where we're gonna pick a new celebrity each month, look at their handbag collection, and trust me, some of them out there have some pretty phenomenal collections. If you're not familiar, I already did Princess Diana about a month or so ago. Keep your eye out, this is gonna be an ongoing thing, and I think I have some fun surprises for you guys. We are going to be discussing Jacob Elordi's handbags, and trust me, I have some major bag envy going on. So let's get into it. Now, Jacob Elordi first kind of started his handbag obsession, at least, when he was living in Australia. So it always kind of started out with like bum bags, just like fanny packs, really chill, casual vibes. And then as he kind of grew and his fame has been building, he's been getting some better handbags. So the first time that he was most notably seen with the handbag, he was walking with Zendaya and he had that gorgeous Fendi maxi baguette. Now the exact version that he carried back in 2020 is no longer available, but the one that is most similar to what he had on was the Celeria maxi baguette, which can be purchased for us mere mortals at the house of Fendi for 4,400. Now his style has been described as timeless and effortless, kind of, you know, 90s dad meets California grunge. So a lot of these handbags that, that he, he tends to carry really work well with that aesthetic. Now, why does he carry bags? Why do men carry bags? Because we have stuff to carry. But I loved what he said most in the Town & Country article where he was quoted saying, when I leave home, I need to have certain things from every category with me in case I get bored. Hello, relatable. A book, a notepad, rolls of film, a camera, a pen. My mom just bought me a pocket watch so that I keep to Australia time, so I always have that. And that just kind of makes sense. Like, as a fellow man who carries bags, like, I have to have stuff in there that, that, like, I need throughout the day and that if I'm, like, sitting on the train or, you know, stuck in traffic and I'm bored, I can read a book, play a video game. So that 100% makes sense. I love the bags that he gets, most notably the Speedy P9 Bandolier 40 from Louis Vuitton. This bag, you guys, he has not once, but he has twice. I know. I am so jealous because this bag retails for 11100 and it's contact concierge services if you want to purchase. So again, I don't think we're walking in and buying a P90 Speedy anytime soon. He was seen carrying the green through the airport as well as the yellow color when he was in Venice. The way that he carries these things, he gives them each a different personality. So like for the green version, he just had on that like really cool motorcycle jacket white tee, green cargo pants, and it was just like a really classic kind of almost like American grunge vibe. And then when he was in Venice and he carried the yellow version, I love how he just paired it up with like light denim, a nice white knit sweater and just like a cap, cool sunglasses. And overall, like the green and the yellow versions are probably my favorite colorways from this collection. Now, for those of you not familiar, the P9 Bandolier 40 is aside from being absolutely utterly fabulous and very expensive, it's made from complete calfskin. So it's not gonna be like our classic bags with like coated canvas monogram. Like this is actual like beautiful full bodied leather. Something else that he said kind of cracked me up too because like his handbag collection, like he's got some, some big ticket items, but what he said to town and country was, perfection. He has personally admitted to never purchasing any of these bags. Maybe that should be something that is exposed about Hollywood, he says. All these people think, I wish I had that lifestyle. I mean, yes, to get them for free, that's great. What a great lifestyle. But people that have all this money aren't spending it. You just get sent stuff. It blows my mind. So not only did they send him one, they sent him two. And good for you, Jacob. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> LV, my PO box is down below. I'm completely, well, I'm not kidding, but it's, it's down there. Now, next up on this list, he's been spotted with Celine bags quite a few times. Now, this first one, this one is still actually available at the house of Celine. This is the medium messenger bag in Triumph Canvas with Celine print in the color black, and it currently retails for 1300 USD. Now, granted, it's just a coated canvas bag. 1300 with today's prices in handbags, that's really not that bad, I hate to say it. But I love how he can dress these up, dress them down, he can wear them very casually. I think he was spotted with this one with wearing not wearing shoes, which... It's like, okay, if you're Australian, I guess, but kind of weird here in Chicagoland. He also has another bag from this collection. He has the triangle version, which retails for a little less, 1250 it's a steal. I don't know how user-friendly this, this triangle bag would be, just with the shape. It's kind of like those cute little heart bags we were all obsessed with about a year or so ago, like 
what can you really fit in there? Like, are they that useful? But again, really cool bag, and I love how he styled this one as well. Now, I'm gonna save my absolute favorite bag that he was spotted with for last with a little bit of an anecdote, but next up, this bag's also really good, and again, I love how he wore this. This one is the Valentino Mini Loco Crossbody calfskin bag. The colorway that he's wearing, which is like a beautiful oxblood burgundy shade, which if you didn't catch it, check out my 2024 hottest bag trend list. But it is currently available in black, white, and like a pistachio green. This retails for $22.90. It could be worn on the shoulder like he did, which as a six foot seven man, I can appreciate seeing a six foot five man wearing this bag because it looks oh so small on him, but it still looks amazing. It can also be worn crossbody with like a nice thick guitar strap. So this is a fantastic bag. Did I mention its price? It's $22.90, which is not awful considering what handbags go for these days, but good for him, he got it for free. <laughs> Next up, we have a little bit of YSL. You all know that I am a huge YSL fan these days. This one is the Nux Duffel in Nylon. Clearly, it looks like he's just left the gym or maybe he's just running around on a Sunday fun day doing some errands. So this is gonna be a great bag. It's gonna travel well, it's gonna go to the gym. You're gonna be able to take it you know, grocery shopping, running errands, throw all your stuff in. I love how he's able to look so effortlessly cool and so casual and chill, like it is, it's hard to pull off like wearing sweats and like making it look good. Not something I've mastered yet, but apparently he has, good for him. I just love that, you know, all of his bags are very minimal, like they're not too over the top, too in your face. But this next one though, this Chanel that we're gonna be discussing, kind of flips the script with a little bit. Now when I was picking bags that he's carried, I didn't wanna pick things like that clearly looked like they were borrowed for an event. So case in point, he has some amazing Bottega bags, some amazing Loewe bags that he's been pictured with, but he's only ever seen with them once and like at like a specific branded event. So this next one, it, it might fall into that, like maybe this is a borrowed moment, but it was too fabulous not to mention. But this is the Chanel Mini Messenger bag and on him it looks so freaking cool. And again, he's pulling out that like 90s dad kind of grungy vibes with this look. You've got the white shirt, the trousers, the Chanel bag. I, I love how he's done his hair too in this with the mustache. Like Jacob Elordi's kind of a vibe. Let's just, let's just admit that. Let's get that out in the air. This bag can be purchased at Chanel for $5,000. It's, it's, it's amazing. I love this bag, you guys. So speaking of Bottega, there have been two instances, in, in my opinion, where he was shot with an absolutely amazing bag out in public. This first one, this was a Bottega Veneta X The Strand collaboration. The Strand, if you're not familiar, is a massive bookstore, check it out. But this tote looks so freaking cool on him. And he has a thing for totes too. Like he accidentally bought a tote for $54 from a gallery because he felt bad about the price. So I guess some of the bags he has purchased, like again, like he's able to take these like simple tote bags and make them a total vibe, which again, like I can't do myself, but amazing. Now I love this look head to toe. You've got like that dad jacket he's got on, the black hat, t-shirt, light wash jeans. I'm a huge fan of light wash jeans, really cool boots. And then this like strand tote on his shoulder, which 100% a vibe. Now the strand bag, if you're looking for one, is probably gonna be hard to get because this was a very limited run, very limited collaboration. They had a few different silhouettes with this style. The one that he has on I think is the best. And with that smooth calfskin leather, like that's just gonna look amazing over time as you beat it up. Worn out corners, scratches, like you name it. And again, that's gonna fit perfectly with his grungy aesthetic. Now, last but certainly not least is my absolute favorite bag that he has. And I think it's safe to say it's probably his favorite as well. This is the Bottega Veneta Medium Angiamo Tote. So I think he was first photographed with this bag back in March of 2023, carrying his matcha tea, heading around the front of a Range Rover, hopping in. And everyone's like, oh, that's so sweet. He carries his girlfriend's bags, but like, like we all knew, we knew, like those of us who love bags knew that this was his bag. And not only did he carry it then, he carried it again with like some really cool like Carhartt style overalls, same sweatshirt because again, we love that grungy dad energy of his. And most notably, he carried this to a basketball game with his Saltburn co-star and just like casually threw it underneath the seat. In that photo, he's also wearing some like Converse style shoes, dark denim pants, white button up, a hat, like, Again, giving us that chill, timeless energy that he's always known for. Low key, this Angiamo tote is high up on my list as well this year. Personally loving it in like those burgundy colors. This one is currently selling for 4,900 and 
it's Jacob Elordi approved, which is a vibe. So Jacob Elordi, so in my Princess Diana video, I was able to really dive in because I think we had like, what, 15, 20 years of really good photos. You, you could kind of see her aesthetic, you know, woven through her history. Jacob Elordi, we haven't really seen him around as much. It's only been like a handful of years so far, but I'm super excited to kind of see like how his style aesthetic evolves and will him carrying a handbag have any effect on other men carrying bags, especially in Hollywood? It's gonna be interesting to see. So I'm super excited to continue this series. I think coming up next, I have a really good celebrity for you guys who is iconic and really known for her handbags. So you're gonna have to come back and check it out. Until next time though, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.